Okay, really quick, I'm going to tell you about ISON. Um, all the the uh, the faithful searches that all of you who are out there being watchful, um, being watchmen and watchwomen about ISON, check it every day for the updates. This will be something new for you to look at. Um, first of all, um, go look at a book. Just go type in on a Google search. Um, uh, comets and the horns of Moses and it will give you a whole lot of um, history on how comets were always associated with uh, plagues, boils, uh, problems with the skin, uh, problems breathing, um, uh, you know huge numbers of people dying from um, what happened like uh, th they called the Black Death um, in Europe and uh, another similar event that happened in Germany all surrounded uh, well all uh, connected to comets. Um, so I'll talk to you really quick about what a lot of the um, uh, what what I'll call the the uh, the really intelligent people that you know are like astrophysicists and uh, people that study the stars and understand um, the elements through science. A lot of them right now are warning people um, on some of the latest ISON videos, and it's accurate that there's cyanide poisonous gas uh, that, and, and another type of gas uh, different types of gases that are poisonous uh, from this dust particles um, um, that are kind of saturated with these toxins that are in uh, isons um, uh, that are in uh, the, the elements that make up its dust and its sand um, that's true but that's not the uh, that's not the worst thing. That's the most benign part of it. Uh, it's got um, such radioactive nature about it since it went so close to the sun that it did. As I talked about in one of my other videos, those small particles are more highly radioactive than plutonium and uranium. Um, you know, I'll tell you that s some some scientists believe that there's particles in the, our atmosphere, space dust that will mix with that to kind of uh, neutralize the radiation. That's not exactly true. That will only happen with the dust-sized particles. The the bigger particles, however, the ones that are sand-sized, will find their way into the uh, surface of the Earth. They will fall through the sky, and they will be highly radioactive. They will bring disease. They will bring an increase in um, what I'll call some people's terrestrial. Um, DNA is is not going to be, um, you know, it, it's 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 like an allergy to something that's foreign, and uh, some people will not fare well when they even come in contact, slight contact with some of these elements, and just the dust and sand-sized particles that will be uh, sprinkled on the earth that could be from uh, one billion uh, metric t tons of of sand, uh, space sand. Uh, sprinkled about the earth so you're really not going to notice it in some places because it's so fanned out and spread out and in other places you will notice it because big clumps of it will fall and uh, it will be like raining sand on some areas um, depending upon uh, a lot of different factors but the the, the bigger the bigger meteors and the other stuff that, that uh, they're saying it's not going to hit I'm going to tell you to be braced for the worst, and if nothing happens, then you know we can we can all have a laugh about it later. But it looks like that um, it it might have brought a lot of meteors in its tail and its trail as it was moving, and even a, a small star that might be out in front of it. Uh, so, like I said, time for prayer, uh, time for uh, reflecting on. Um, what you can do to survive a blackout in, c in case it should uh, make the grid completely you know stop uh, functioning and uh, just uh, prayer you know so all God um, lift lift up our understanding in all these things uh, and uh, Zah as the as the word um, you know, the Messiah is, is in my belief. I hope this has blessed you, and I hope that uh, you continue to follow this, and I'll give you all the information that I can on the common ice on. Thanks, my friends.